Okay. Boy, a few seconds ago it was rough. People parked everywhere. They all left for the main sunset. Cool. Now I got bike right in time. Let's see. Level pretty good. This might be more down and up. Uh, turn the light off. Starting to get dark, got to take shades off. I guess that's still a good pick, right? Looks more yellow. I see a lot of pink, soft blues. My shades away. First time shooting with this camera ever, really. Besides the road trip over here. And new to the bike. Accessories, everything. That's a pretty good picture. I think we're zoomed in. Does it turn off when the... There's no way it just turns off. For some reason the camera turns off, which I think is saving the battery. But... Are you telling me... That it's now off? There's no no way. I can't read it. No, it's still okay. Good. Whew. I was going. Jeez. Cool. Now I can ride. Although, let's see. I should take it out of the mount to show you the water better. It's like a deep blue right now. I don't know how the hot. Auto. And you can see this is exactly where the ocean meets the Atlantic every, you know, twice a day, all day, really. But the tide goes in and out generally twice a day, and you can just—it's turmoil down there. <laughs> Lots of fish. Lots of fish. I don't think we have a full moon right now, but all right, let's do some bike riding here. I think I'm actually all right. a little more balanced. How you doing? Little puppy dog walk. Hey puppers. <laughs> do, do. See on the screen I see a lot of yellows. I got a lens coming. I was hoping it came in today. It's the polarized. Boy that's just going to make the water down here pop I hope. It's adjustable. I rode a couple days ago here and uh, boy, I put my arms out and I was doing about 15, 17 miles an hour this way, wind behind me and I was like, wait a minute, if it's that, you know, I only have to pedal, it's going to be a hell coming back and hey guys, hi, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good, charters down there, if you can see them, try to get my 
Here, I'll just take a little. One guy was going underneath us. Right there, a couple charters. Double anchored, pulling fish. Oh, I could have got the guy on the other side. I like to run. Run through it. How you doing? Got a nice, a little bit larger charter on the other side here. I'm sure there's a way I can keep the camera on all the time. Obviously, it takes more battery, but I kind of like it to be able to see what it's doing. I don't know what you guys shot forever with. Oh, he's backing up. He's got a fish on. Got the seven mile bridge on the left. We're on the old train tracks, seven mile. Pulling some in. Standing behind a person, kind of awkward. Especially if you're not the husband or something. I ran a charter with the guy when I came down. A couple, couple different charters. Went up in uh, oh, Key Largo, and another in uh, down here in Key West. Both guys awesome. Both captains awesome. Um, we ended up moving, Amy took a job, so that's why I left the Key Largo, because we were going to actually uh, probably rent an RV spot from him. He had a spot, oh, that would have been so sick. Spot on the water, our own private beach, ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Cheap or, you know, whatever, for uh, helping him charter too. How sick is that, right? But we got a, you know, she got a job down here, so we came down to the QS area. Now we're at... Uh, we moved more towards Marathon, but I got a bug following me. Got some face. Shake that bug. All right. I'll take this bad book. Uh, get, uh, Pigeon Key straight ahead. Oh gosh, man, this view is pretty nice. Nobody's out this far. They're all. Tourism beginning. It's kind of nice. Everyone's like, hey, how's it going? Everyone's happy to be here. What's fun is you heard that. Oh, oh I'm getting followed by a bug. I'm losing. I'm shaking him. See ya. Yep, oh, I'm going against the wind. I can tell. Anyways, last couple days ago, man, coming back into the wind, I actually pretty much got off the bike and walked it back a lot of the way. So. Oh, that dude pulling a paper. Okay, so I got my wind guard on the GoPro. Just a cheap little $12 foam thing, whatever. But it should have some wind going through it right now. So, talking to myself, if the video sound is good, cool. This is my normal kind of loud voice. I'll talk a lot louder. This would be extremely awkward <laughs> if people were around, but they're not. But this is, you know, kind of talking really loud on purpose. Normal voice would be like this. Quieter would be like this. The Joe Biden quiet talk. Boy, it's gonna be hard not to be political. <laughs> hard not to be in the politics right now. Let's see what they caught. Political fish. A donkey or an elephant. See what I'm saying? I mean, it's just go pun after pun. Run after run. The fish goes. That was not a casual landing. 
Oh man. Okay, I just Rob, I just tipped the phone way over. Oh I got it. I just got that. Kind of zoomed out and I'm kind of chasing the boat. They're they're in gear going backwards. Got a biker coming up on me with no lights. Oh, he's way back there, I think. Oh, Rob, pay attention. Chasing the fish. Chasing the fish. All costs, no care. Chasing, chasing. I better be quiet. They're, they're running charter. I don't know on that. Maybe I do, but. Ooh, they're really humping now. See, I wish I kind of, well, my long, I know this is again, first shot for me today, ever with this thing. And I'm not ready to dangle it over the ocean. <laughs> Especially, you know, people. Uh, in a boat but uh, you know another week from now yeah I'll be dangling this 